to determine the perimeter of the given figure, which would be the distance around the outside, and notice how three of the sides would be the sides of a rectangle, here, here, and here. And then we'd have the top part, which would be half of the circumference of the circle with a diameter of 11 centimeters. The length of this diameter would be the same as the length of the opposite side. The formula to determine the circumference of a circle is given by pi times d, where d is the length of the diameter, or we have 2 times pi times r, where r is the length of the radius. And since we're given the length of the diameter, we're going to go ahead and use this first formula. So the perimeter of this figure is going to be equal to half of the circumference of a circle, where the diameter would have a length of 11 centimeters, so we'd have pi times 11 centimeters divided by 2 plus the length of the three sides. So if this is 15 centimeters, so is this. So we'd have 2 times 15 centimeters plus 11 centimeters. And again, notice how I'm leaving the units off until the very end. Now let's go ahead and determine the exact value of this and then we'll get a decimal approximation. So 2 times 15 would be 30. 30 plus 11 would be 41. So the perimeter would be 41 plus this would be 11 halves pi or 11 pi halves. And this is all in centimeters. Now let's go ahead and use the calculator to get a decimal approximation for this. One thing we should be aware of is that sometimes specific problems tell us to use a certain value for pi. A lot of times we're asked to use 3.14 for pi, but this calculator has a pi key which will give us a more accurate calculation. So we'll go ahead and use the pi key on this calculator to get a decimal approximation. So we have 41 plus 11 pi over 2, or divided by 2. So if we press enter, so if we round this to the nearest hundredth, the perimeter would be approximately 58.28 centimeters. Now I do want to mention, if we round pi before we calculate this, it is going to result in more of an error, and I'll go ahead and just show that. So if we use 3.14 for pi, We'd have 11 times 3.14, all divided by 2. So notice how the answer is a little bit less because if we use a rounded value for pi before we do the calculations, it is going to result in more of an error. So just be sure you read the directions carefully when using pi for a calculation.